In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to set up your app details in Google Play Console. Go to the Google Play Console main dashboard and click on Create an App. Fill in all the necessary fields, including app name, which needs to be the name of your app created. Then select the language of your app from the list of all the languages available in the drop-down menu. Next, specify if it's a game or an app. Now choose between app as a paid or a free one. No, keep in mind, you can't change this later, so choose wisely. Now in the declaration section, mark both developer program policies and US export laws checkboxes. Once done, click on the Create App button and you'll be redirected to the Google Play Console dashboard, where you will find Store Presence under the heading Grow. Now choose Main Store Listing from the list given under Store Presence. Next, under the heading Listing Assets, write a short and full description with a limit of 80 and 4,000 characters, respectively. Now, coming to the Graphics section, here you can upload an app icon and future graphic. You can also add a video by providing a YouTube URL. Now, in the Phone section, upload 2 to 8 phone screenshots of your app. Please note that the file format for screenshots is PNG and JPEG, up to 8 megabytes each. 16, 9 or 916 aspect ratio, with each side between 320 pixels and 3840 pixels. For the tablet section, you have two categories including 7 inch screenshots and 10 inch screenshots. The file format and pixel size of the screenshots for tablets remain the same as the phone's screenshot. Next, if you want, you can upload the screenshots for Chromebook. Once done, click Save. Moving forward, search for App Content from the drop-down menu under the Heading Policy and Program section. In this section, tick all the checkboxes of required declarations. Let's go with all the declarations needed one by one starting with the privacy policy. Click here, click on start declaration and add a link to your privacy policy URL in the given space with your app's name at the end of the URL. Please note, you can get the privacy URL from the setup details step in the AppyPy's published app section on your AppyPy dashboard. Once you provided the URL, click on save. Next, let's handle the ads declaration. Here you need to specify whether your app contains ads or not. If yes, then select yes, my app contains ads, otherwise click on no and then save. Coming to the app access section, here you must redefine whether or not your app functionality has restrictions. If it has, you need to define those restrictions further. If not, simply click on all functionality in my app is available without any access restrictions. Upon choosing, click Save. Next up is Content Ratings. Select Start Declaration and fill out a questionnaire form regarding your details for receiving ratings from your users. In the Category section, add your email address along with the app category from Game, Social, or Communication, or all other app types, and click Next. Then in the questionnaire category, select yes or no as per your preference for downloaded app, user context sharing, online content, promotion or sale of each restricted product or activities, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous has its subparts that need to be filled accordingly. Now click save and move on to the next section. Example summary. In this part, you, you can look at all the details filled out in the previous steps. Now let's handle declaration for target audience content, where you need to select your target age group and then select yes or no if your app is appealing to children in the store presence section. Click next, where you'll be headed to summary. If you agree to the terms, click save. Moving further, let the Google Play Console know if your app is a news app or not. Upon choosing, click save. Now select your COVID-19 tracing and status by selecting the preferred option, then click Save. In the Data Saf Safety section, you need to have a CSV file of your data safety policies, which need to be uploaded. 
Click on import from CSV at the top right corner and upload the CSV file and then select import. Please note you can get your CSV file from AppyPy's publish app section on your AppyPy dashboard. Upon importing the file, click next. Keep selecting next till you reach the preview section and then click save. Coming toward next declaration, choose whether your app uses an advertising ID and click save. Next, let the console know if your app is governed or built on behalf of the government by selecting yes or no. Financial futures being the last declaration requires to knowing if your app provides any financial future. Select accordingly and if it does not provide any future then select my app doesn't provide any financial future and click next. Now go back to store presence under grow and select store settings. Next click edit and select your app category from all the options available and then click save. Similarly, click edit in the store listing contact details section and fill in the required fields accordingly. Once done, click save. Now go to production under the release section and select the countries you want your app to be available. Then click save. This is how you can set up your details in the Google Play Console.